All right. Yeah. Well, I'm using my old, well, the original camera that I did videos. It's, yeah, it's low quality, but I'm able to, like, wander around, don't have to worry about volume and the tripod and so on and so forth. There's Twinkles. Being Mr. Uh, picky with the food. Yeah, I've been slowly, slowly getting back into trying to figure out the Russians. Uh, this might be a... Well, let's just go with it and see what happens. So I think I mentioned in a previous video that uh, the Tsar wants us to make a big push back towards Wuj, a show of strength towards the Allies, but Yuri Danilov over here in uh, brest litovsk I'll have to keep saying that uh, over and over again, eventually get it right. And the military in general have reservations about uh, the Tsar's uh, decision-making process and want to learn their lessons, I guess. Um, and they only have one front to deal with it uh, now, like I've said before. So we're going to make a token gesture. I'm going to put lots of engineers and lots of artillery and lots of uh, troops uh, towards the second and fourth armies. No worries. But I'm going to use that rail when I want to do other things. I'm going to, like I said, make a token gesture. There's lots of open terrain here. Clear terrain. Um, like you can see the second army objective over there and or whatever maybe you can't but make a token gesture I'm not gonna go like I'm just like show the czar that yeah we're doing some stuff this this is the place to go as far as I'm concerned if I can take Memel I've got I think a severe strategic advantage in the Baltic. I can also start really pushing towards Konig, Konigsberg. That would be fantastic. Oh yeah, but this is where to go as far as I'm concerned. However, we also have to protect the other flank and restrict the Austro-Hungarians from bringing in their troops. And so we're going to try to close off at least that pass because um, we already have Cernovitz and then that would be a sweetheart deal, but that's a long time away. Like I said, this is going to be I have to go to other lands now because I'm trying to prioritize what I want to do. Okay, bring the reading glasses. This book, that book, that book on the knife edge. Oh my F. Oh. Worth every penny. For flipping sure. Yep, my Western Front uh, abstraction zone, and I've already taken away 20 divisions. That's insane. I'm starting to realize Derveltkrieg, and what I'm reading historically about divisions and whatnot is not making sense. I'll, like I said again, it's like 20 divisions? Are you serious? Mm hmm. That's. Seems like it. 115 strength points is what I'm removing from the Western Front, essentially. Um, yep. Uh, winter time is coming. I'm going to um, get back into painting, that's for sure. But it's insanely warm right now. God, I think up almost near to 20 degrees. So I will get to this point and start repainting and redoing some stuff. That's for flipping sure, I can tell you that much. Okay, let's get back to the other room. It's, what would you call it? Uh, this is the transition room. My doppeldecker stuff is still here. Like I said, I'm converting this back into a den proper, so it's it's going to take a while. Going to take a while. All right, let's get back into this. I've just got to say this. I don't know why, and I know it's monstrously broken, and there's a zillion, gazillion things, but I absolutely adore um, playing my grid of offset squares. I just, I'm just, I just want to um, 
I'm thinking maybe a few more units, which is weird. <laughs> so I was like, okay, there's way too many uh, units for such a small uh, space. But things happen rather rapidly. I was like, holy moly. Um, oh, gosh, I'd like to spend a good old afternoon with some people or somebody. Okay, and then we're getting into this. I'm probably going to get into this, uh, I think, first, for sure. That's, like I said, the first Missourian Lakes battle. I can certainly see me starting that tomorrow. Uh, nine turns. I've played it more than ten times previously. Absolutely adore this scenario. I adore this game system. Love it. Even though there's one monster component I don't play. I've mentioned it before. The reserve movement. I don't use it. And um, the other person I've played it with uh, hasn't used it either. And we've had fantastic fun times playing it but uh, here I'll show you yeah I I'm a big fan of uh, the East Prussia I had the most success with Galicia and um, my opponent Rob uh, had the most uh, success with Serbia now and then we're getting back to shoots Trupa, which is going to happen but I'm going to need Charles the Taurus help for flipping sure because it takes like I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, so it takes me a long time to wrap my head around new uh, concepts, and there's going to be a lot of new concepts for me. You know, I'm like my I'm embedded. I've morphed uh, the Dervelkri game so much to my own narrative now that um, you know I I'm not all of it, but I've, I'm like I'm no longer essentially using the CRT. I'm essentially just using the map and you know some other things but and then I want to get into this play I still said that before I'll tell you what the stumbling block is it's the flotillas for me it's like a game within a game that's what I'm having a hard time with that's why I haven't really uh, started this otherwise I would have it's I'm like am I getting this right I don't know Okay, I'm going to show you one other, other thing. I did get this book. I got a few other books. But this one is just a sweetie peedy. I didn't realize it's that good. I got it yesterday at the um, thrift store. goes through the entire construction. The planning, the thought uh, process. I didn't realize that. Um, they had another one on the... Um, uh, oh, just fantastic. I was absolutely astounded. I was like, you got to be joking me, man. I'm so glad I picked this up. Yep, I'm not going to go into the full-on, but oh, look at this. Look at this. They had one on castles and something else. I just just wanted the pyramid one, but it, after when I saw this, I was like, mm, maybe you should go back and get the castle one, man, because this is like a full, like, on day blah 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 BCE this happened I'm like holy smokes like really good stuff yeah I like this type of stuff that's it I've got to figure out what I'm gonna do um, I'm also listening to some pretty sweet electronic music right now and um, I'll trip out for a little while but I think um what is it about this thing man oh it just got me by the, you know what? Mm. But then, easy peasy lemon squeezy, and fun as hell. Anybody, uh, that's what I'm getting into as well. The difference between games and simulations. Like I'm looking at, like when uh, Charles Latour was talking about playing. Uh, uh, I think he, mm, I think he's got the. Like, I've got the Serbian one. I think he was play he's about to play the, um, the, uh, the Western Front uh, 1914 one, I think. But I was like, we're getting into, is this a game or a simul... Like, I don't want to get into that. Um, well, I am, obviously. But do I, what do I want to do with that type of game versus... You know, my off, uh, grid of offset squares, because they are ma monstrously different. Monstrously different in complexity and scope or, you know, like, what am I trying to do with this? 
Same with as, uh, you know, well, maybe this as well. I don't know. I haven't played it yet. I've got to, like, maybe pay more attention to uh, Charles LaTorres' um, videos on it, essentially. Yeah. All right. I think this should be it because I'm uh, just go just go off and trip. Okay. Hope you're having fun. See ya. No, I have to do something. <laughs> nope.